Hi, I'm David Farland. Welcome to Storytelling is a Fine Art. Today I would like to talk a little bit about story ideas. Very often I'll have people come to me and say, I've got an idea for a novel. And most of the time when I talk to them, I find out that their ideas are pretty worn out. They're ideas that I've heard dozens or maybe hundreds of times before. People don't realize how many novels are being published. Not only do we have the professional publishers that are out in the marketplace, but Amazon says that about uh, 1.5 million people are going to be publishing novels this year as self-published novels. And so when you write a novel, one of the things that people are looking for is uniqueness. The word novel means novel, one of a kind, okay? So when you write a novel, you want to try to come up with an idea that seems fresh and original to you. Now, just because you think it's fresh and original doesn't mean that it is. Unfortunately, as an editor, I see lots and lots of stories every year, and a lot of times there are ideas that are floating around, and they've been floating around for years, and they never get published because every editor is sick of them. In fact, sometimes I'll pick up a manuscript and say, oh no, they're going to write that story again, okay? The story of the teenagers with the amazing powers. Oh great, you know, a little part of you dies inside when you see that. So how do you make that original? How do you make it your own and make it so that it is novel? Remember that when you're writing your story, okay, it isn't just one big idea that you have. You have to have lots and lots of ideas. A novel will have ideas for a cast of characters that may include 5, 10, 20 different people. It will include locations, settings, up to 70 to 90 settings in any given novel. Okay, you're going to have conflicts going on between the characters where each of them has their own individual problems that you're going to have to deal with. And so that combination of ideas allows you to take an old idea sometimes and make it a little bit fresh, okay? So when you are looking for ideas, first thing that I would like you to do is take your story idea, look up your title. Let's say that you want to write a novel about werewolves in love. Look up other books with similar titles uh, or that seem to be on the same subject matter. You can Google them online and start finding out how much competition you really have. Look at the best books that you can find in the genre and the best movies that are in the genre. And then go ahead and take that and see how your ideas stack up to the best that's been done, okay? Um, last of all, you can talk to editors and other readers and find out if people that are fans in your genre, what do they think about this? You know, do they like your ideas or do they feel like, okay, this has been done to death? In any case, when you're writing a book, you're going to spend a long time, months and months most likely, writing and rewriting that book and polishing it and trying to get it into the best condition that you can. And that means that you want to take your best shot at it. You want to start off with fresh original ideas, create fantastic intriguing characters, go ahead and plot it out in a new and unique way, and then you're going to have a sellable book, but not until then.